Hello everybody, I am Skyhook, this is Kerbal Space Program, and I'm back. Um, I haven't put up a video in about five months, and that's for a very good reason, and I will tell you on just a second as we get started. Load up our new save, Skyhook, I already have 10 flights in progress, but we're only be doing one today, and that is going to be, let's see, look, should be this one, the Arc Heavy Lander. Now, as this loads up, I'll tell you all, the reason why I didn't uh, actually record any videos for about five months was because I was in Spain. Um, I was doing study abroad over there, and, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring any type of recording material or my computer or anything like that. Uh, so that's that's why. That's why I wasn't able to uh, record or anything like that. But uh, I guess now I'm back. And I'll tell you all more in detail once we get uh once we get into orbit now let's just run over a lander really quickly um as you notice uh the lander has quite a few mods on it uh and that's going to include uh nova punch uh some of their lander parts from the thor lander it's going to include cathane uh this this cathane sensor here um and then it's also going to include lionhead industries i believe uh and those are the lander legs that are present we also have here uh, Megjet, the ever controversial uh, Megjet, uh, and that's going to help us, I guess, get into orbit, uh, do, a, do a couple of things, you know, such as orbital operations. Nothing really too cheaty. Uh, I just I don't like to use Megjet for cheaty or cheaty reasons. Uh, it's a sandbox game, so you can't really cheat. But I, I don't use Megjet to uh, to play the game for me. Uh, and at the bottom, we just hear a standard standard launcher stage. Uh, I find it works really well. And, you know, just, just to have uh, these extra small tanks at the bottom so that the those Rocket Max uh, main cells don't overheat. Uh, and I guess uh, without further ado, we'll just start. Save and launch. Alright, we have the craft loaded up. Everything will uh, set for a day launch. Everything looks good. And start the main engines and lift off. Alright, as we lift off, we have to wait for the French for a second to really stabilize and everything. While we're doing that, we'll turn off. Let's see, how do we do it? Okay, yeah. We have to turn off the gimbal on those mainsail engines because they will shake your craft apart if you aren't careful. If you aren't doing things correctly. Uh, so, I guess uh, we'll, just, we'll just wait for this to go up. And I will see you all in orbit. All right, we are back in orbit. Uh, we we're going to the boom today, uh, so we'll have to warp around a little bit as we uh, wait for for a good opportunity to burn. But this is also a good opportunity to tell you all about my trip to Spain. Um, now I was able to go to Spain via a study abroad program at my university, and uh, you know it was it was something I was afraid about uh, at first. Um, I, I wasn't quite sure if my Spanish was good enough and. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to afford it, but, you know, everything was pretty much put the rest. I decided to go ahead and apply anyway, and, you know, long story short, I'm just really glad that I did it. And for anybody that's in college or you know, high school and you're thinking about going to another country and, you know, thinking about doing study abroad or something like that, I would say definitely do it. Um, just, just don't even hesitate on it because it's something that um, my, my life is definitely different. Um, it's, it's definitely different from before I did it. Uh, so I'm really, really glad that I was able to do it. I made a lot of friends, a lot of, had a lot of good experiences. Uh, some, some bad ones, but those, those are really few and far between. Uh, obviously there, there's some safety concerns and things like that. Um, but, but not really in Spain. Spain was a, a very safe, very safe place. Um, well, like I said, it was somewhere that I had a lot of fun. Things are definitely different. Um, from from the United States, and I might cover those in detail a little bit later um, as we do the the second mission, my second mission back, which I've already planned out. Uh, we are going to be going to Moho, I believe Moho, um, and that's that's a part of I guess my the, the first in my series of interplanetary videos. Uh, which should be really good. Which should be really fun. Although a little bit late. Uh, but but I, I just explained to you all why. 
why those videos are really late and we should be coming up on a moonrise soon what is that up there I don't know there's something up there but we should be coming up on a moonrise soon enough eventually eventually ah there we go there we go and as we see I, I do use mech jab but just to get myself in a position get myself in a good position uh, we're gonna turn it off I don't like I don't like how I'm tipped sideways we can be upside down but just not sideways and keep progress and let's burn let's burn before we miss our intercept um we were actually get, able to get into orbit oh it looks like I did thing wrong with my fuel cross feed and everything but uh, if I calculate correctly we were able to get in orbit with still about 700 units of fuel left uh, which is perfect which is really good um, that's gonna give me that's gonna give me a good amount of fuel <laughs> hopefully <laughs> if not then I'll just um, I'll just uh, have to get myself out of the situation some way that's, that's pretty much what it comes down to uh, so let's just zoom out to map mode Trying to get our intercept. You want to remember to throttle down as you get closer to intercepting a planet, because uh, your your actual uh, the rate of speed at which your I guess apoapsis increases will get bigger. Oh, 63, 63 sounds good. So we have an intercept at 63,000 uh, meters, 63 kilometers for the surface. I want to actually see if I go around to retrograde to fix that a little bit. Because I like to get down to about 30 since uh, we don't plan to spend too much time in orbit uh, before landing. There's just not much, not much point. It's really it's just the moon. It's the closest destination. I personally have been doing this since about July. As far as y'all going to the moon is concerned. So, okay, we want to swing around the program. I, I boosted too far. 3,000. Yeah, it's just, that's just too far. And I think we have a little slight influence from Kerbin in the atmosphere. Uh, as we see our actual periapsis decreasing slightly. But uh, that should be fine. Let's just time warp out. Now, as far as the channel is concerned, um, uh, I'm actually open to doing a lot more games than I am doing. Right now, I'm just doing Kerbal Space Program. But I have about 30 games in my Steam account, including uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, Batman Arkham City. I just got that crazy de uh, crazy deal on Steam. About $7.50. $7.50. Uh, I have Skyrim. Even though it's a little bit old, there's, there's still a ton to do because uh, it's, it's an RPG. Um, so that should be fun. And then I also got Assassin's Creed 3. I just bought a new graphics card. The new. Uh, what is it the uh, nvidia gtx 660 and i got the twin froze edition which i must say is just really really cool um it's it's cool in the sense that i do like the card it's also very cool in the sense that uh it's it's running about 40 to 45 degrees celsius under load or or at least pan, playing a video game so it's just i'm just really happy with it um Last time I got a graphics card, I kind of cheaped out on it, and and it definitely showed in my performance. Now we want to stop right about here, yeah. And we want to go into normal view, go retrograde. Let's hurry up and burn, cause we don't have we don't have that much fuel to actually do the maneuver. Uh, so let's let's get this done. Let's get this done quickly. Uh, let's burn and the moon has relatively low gravity so we shouldn't need too much fuel to actually get a stable orbit we want to bring it down to uh, let's let's say about 35 35 uh, kilometers so we want to stop and check how much fuel we have yep I want to use um, about 30 more units of fuel that's really all I have for this burn we should be able to get there though we should be able to do it with the fuel that we have all right can we let's see 
Uh, okay, I guess I guess we'll go down to about 700. I've done landings like this, and I know for a fact that I only need about I want to say 350 units or so to actually get down to the surface with a lander of this size. Uh, and since we don't know how to disable cross feet, let's go ahead and transfer some fuel. And I guess this is a good time to comment on the new things that are, I guess, new in 18.2. Um, in in 18.2 specifically, there's just uh, Elo, and I just I think um, there were there were some bug fixes and everything with 18.2 specifically. But the last time that I played the game, it was on 0 0.16.16, uh, so I, I actually missed a lot. Um, but but like I was saying earlier in the video. Um, I had a lot of great experiences, and it's something that definitely changed me as a person, so. I, I don't quite regret it as much as I love KSP, um, being able to go to the moon and things like that. Uh, and then, so, I, so we have two takes left. And, yes, and. So, fuel transfer, docking, everything, none of that was there when I actually... The last time I played KSP, and the last time I recorded a video, uh, but this stuff is just uh, really cool. It allows, it opens up a lot of new possibilities. So I would say that definitely that KSP is better. It's better than uh, when it last was, which is always good. Congratulations to Squad and everybody on making a great, a great, great game. Something that I've enjoyed thoroughly. And wow, that's a nice, that's a beautiful picture. Once this gets done, I'm gonna take a, clean, a screenshot of this. This is pretty nice. All right, we're done. Let's take away the UI, and let's just skew the camera over, because that's always, it's always a nice screenshot. Okay, now let's see what else. We have our lander fueled up completely, I believe. Let's see. Let's just check. Better safe than sorry. Yep. So that leaves us 77 units of fuel to do the rest of our burn. If we have a burn left. Yeah. Hmm. I would say that. No, I would say that we're okay. We're going retrograde and we are leaving night time behind. So this is a perfect time to do a crew transfer. Oh, we have Bill and Bob Kerman for the mission today, apparently. Two of the most uh, popular pilots in Kerbal Space Program. At the Kerbal Space, or Kerbal Space Center, as it were. Uh, so, I guess without further ado, we'll... We'll... Ah, we'll decouple, yes. Alright. Now we'll just... Hmm. Turn on some RCS. Press that a couple of times. It's the end button. Yep. And we'll make sure that we're swing around the retrograde. Oh, slowly now. Slowly. We're not in a rush. We have an entire planet's worth of daylight to make this happen. I've already, I've already recorded this video about three times. I had a lot of problems with. Uh, DX story, my, my recording software, and everything like that. So, but uh, what we'll do is wait. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a time warp. We're gonna actually wait to do our burn simply because I learned from last time that uh, coming in too shallow is actually just as dangerous as coming in uh, too sharp. You, you you have a lot of uh, a lot of horizontal uh, velocity versus um, vertical velocity and neither is good so we just try to throttle up and no luck no luck okay we just have to activate our engines because we can't get anywhere without them one two three and four and we should be good for a burn now yep Period absence is coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa. Did we? Ah, uh, we completely forgot to do it. I'm just, I'm going to have to fix that really quickly. I'll be right back then. <laughs> Alright, I do not believe that I quick saved or anything like that. So, we're going to have to complete this mission with two engines. Two engines instead of four. Uh, you know, which is okay. Because we're going to get, we're going to get uh, actually better fuel economy out of this as well. So, let's burn now. We do have uh, equal, equal pressure, equal thrust, I should say. Uh, and as our per, as our um, periapsis comes down, it's actually inside of the moon, uh, which is what this means. Um, and we want to land. I guess okay. I guess I'll land in the crater, but we'll land at the edge, so just so that we can get out and everything like that. We don't want to strand them too far inside of the crater. It's just going to make things difficult for him. And let's land there. Okay. And we, yeah, we, it looks like everything is uh, going well. Let's just line ourselves up at prograde and time warp just a little bit. We want to make sure that we get down to about, oh, let's slow this down. We want to make sure that we get down to about... Alright, that's good enough. That's definitely good enough. Especially considering that we have two engines instead of four. You want to make sure that we pretty much burn the full. We we have a lot of fuel. Um so we should be we should be fine. We should be okay. Um and I, I won't be surprised if we have weight and balance issues just because I completely forgot to lower that one tank. And it looks like we are running into trouble. We are running. We are running into trouble. Yep. I don't think that this is gonna end in. This is not gonna end well. Nope. And goodbye. Whew. So we need to start a burn a lot earlier for that. Um, we're gonna have to remember that. Let's see if we can load up a. Load up a quick save, which I'm just sure that I forgot to do. Yep, yep, completely forgot to do that. Um, so I will see you all back at the moon then. Sheesh. By the power of movie magic, we are uh, back. And we're just going to do a quick crew transfer for a second try. I can't even believe I failed the first time, but uh, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Yeah, for a second try uh, at a landing on the moon, uh, this time we should have four engines, so that's going to help. Uh, and I am, I'm pretty sure that a burn in 10,000, safety burn in 10,000 meters uh, should be enough, especially with four engines. Uh, so I guess without further ado, we're going to see if we can control from here and decouple possibly a bad idea definitely a bad idea um whoop. we'll just uh we just make sure that we separate uh we have a meg jab on here i'm not sure if i'm able to control nope i'm not able to control uh yeah i'm not able to control things but that's okay we'll go ahead and do a, a quick save and that's we, we're going to start rotation, firstly. That's just ridiculous. We can't do anything like that. Alright, now. We can see if we're going to activate our engines. This will work this time. I promise. Okay, let's see. Now, we want to land in the same crater as before. And to do that, we're still going to have to wait, though. We're going to have to wait, so we'll just time warp up. We want to land in that crater. I guess this time on the uh, left side, or, or the side that's closest to my orbit. I'm, I'm actually orbiting the the, uh, the opposite direction, simply because of how I burned and how I went and where, all that stuff. And that should be... Well, let's just warp a little bit more. Yeah, okay. This should be fine. And we will start our 
burn as soon as we're able to get stabilized all right let's start yep four engines burning now we should be able to burn to about now I wanted to say about 150 to 200 meters per second and then we'll just have the safety burn uh, once we actually um, get low enough let's see as we burn down we want to check how yeah yeah that's fine that sounds sounds pretty good looks pretty good because we want to land at the edge of the crater not necessarily inside of it um, so just checking our fuel okay we still have half fuel in these outer tanks let's keep in mind we have an entire inner tank uh, with 360 units of fuel, which is equal to these four large tanks on the outside. So, uh, my goal is to land um, with little or no fuel expended in the central tank. Uh, so, to be able to do that, we're going to have to time our burns well. I promise, I promise, I promise that 10,000 is a good place to burn. 10,000 meters, I should say. It's a good altitude to burn. Okay, not coming in too hot. Definitely much better than last time. This is about the speed at which we hit the ground. Um, whoop. Bill and Bob look to be okay. Bob is, he's a little bent out of shape. I mean, I feel like it's not that bad. Considering that last time he died in a ball of fire. I mean, I'm not sure if he remembers that or anything, but... Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. And checking our fuel, we should have about 30. Yep. We have about 30 units of uh, fuel. Uh, obviously, in, uh, in 0 0.18, we need both fuel and oxidizer to run our engines. But we have plenty of both. They're, they're both, um, they, they come stock with proportional amounts. So you, you will run out of both at the same time. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look here. Average uh, altitude, or I guess elevation, uh, of the moon is about 2,000 meters. Uh, we're, we're close to this crater, so it should be a little bit lower, uh, actually. But we are fine. We're looking okay. I want to get our gear down for this. Never like to let my gear down too early. Uh, it's just kind of a, a weird quirk that I have. Oh, oh, oh. We're actually burning the opposite way, and we're actually going a little bit too slow. Mm. Okay, no, we're, we're sinking at a good rate. This is so much better than last time, which I definitely will include in the video. It's good to show failures as well as successes. And with that... We're going to set up perfectly north because it should be good enough. And start our final burn. We should be coming in. The crater's really close. We're going to definitely do an EVA once we get out. Oh, we're coming in nicely. Oh, yes, we're coming in very nicely. Uh huh. Not too much to say, but just, uh, land. Oh, yeah. Now, that is what we should have done last time. That's a perfect landing. That's probably one of my better landings, uh, in general. Alright, uh, we're gonna press 1 on our action bars to... Activate our instruments, get communications up, and things like that. Although it's completely unnecessary. We don't have anything to communicate with um, at the present moment. Our our transfer stage is just tumbling in orbit. Uh, <laughs> which, I don't honestly don't know how I'm going to save that. But we'll have Bob do the honors and get out. Oh man, that is a great picture. We got to take another screenshot of that. Let's see. 
Let's see if we can get him in a nice action position. We see that nice low moon gravity on showcase. All right, we're taking some good screenshots. Now, hmm, let's see if we can go EVA. Oh, oh, let's, let's see. I guess he just wants to take it now first. All right, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we do a nice little EVA. But I think that the crater is a little bit too far. I, I would have liked to lean a lot closer to it. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Get up. Wasn't that bad. Like, I know how crashing on the moon is. Like, I know how, what it feels like, everything. I'm sure, it's quite violent if you fail. But, uh, I guess it's a good, uh,. A good way to uh, end it here. Good spot to end here. Uh, we we uh, completely killed both Bill and Bob Kerman in their last crash. But through movie magic and video game magic, they came back and they made a successful landing on the moon. So we will see you all later.